Good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday, October 18th of 2022. I believe it's the 18th. Should be, because I remember yesterday was the 17th. Anyway, I'm very tired. You might be able to tell, but I'm very tired. I've had the unfortunate habit of staying up way too late and then waking up, well, not quite early, but earlier than my brain wants me to. So, there's that. Other than that, though, I actually feel pretty alright. I haven't had coffee yet. I did make it, but I haven't had any, so... As dictated per tradition, I'll have our first sip on the vlog. My bad. I finished off my... Uh, box of cinnamon coffee so now I just have the caramel flavor to go I have two more cups in there and I will probably get more tonight so I'll probably just go shopping real quick on online and grab some to be delivered tomorrow morning so that way well I just keep up my stock <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about really necessarily. It's still the beginning of the day, so not much has happened quite yet. I uh, I don't think I mentioned it on the vlog uh, yesterday, but I finished my outline for the fifth Black Crystal book. So that's exciting. I am all prepared and ready to go for NaNoWriMo 2022. All that's left now is to wait and uh, occasionally study up. I'll probably start reading the other books in my spare time, just to sort of recap the plot for myself, know where things went, remember certain characters' names, things like that. I'm looking forward to getting to work officially on it. I'm going to dedicate like a certain amount of time to writing each day during NaNoWriMo, so that way I don't burn myself out, and hopefully get a consistent word count going, so that way I can reach my word count goal of 50,000 words. At least within the month. I can't imagine the book will actually be 50,000 words long, but that is ultimately the goal. The goal is just to reach 50,000 by the end of the month. That is what National Novel Writing Month is. And I'm excited. I'm hoping we get more rainy weather during November, because we are uh, over halfway through November or October now, and haven't seen much. Like, I think we got a little bit at the beginning of the month, and or actually, no, not really. I don't think... The last time we had rain was, like towards the later half of September, so it's been a little bit. I'm hoping to see more, and this is why I always put rain sounds on when I'm working, because rain relaxes me, that's for sure. As far as today's plans go, aside from working, I will probably, uh, I don't know, maybe watch something, play more Final Fantasy 1. I. I got to the uh, Cave of Earth last night, and uh, just beat the... Uh, Mini boss, I guess you could say, of the dungeon. I don't want to, like... I'm afraid of saying anything related to the plot, because... It's like... I mean, Final Fantasy 1 is old by now, but also spoilers, just in case. Like, the game may not have much plot, but the plot that it does have there is actually very interesting. So, if you're watching by chance and haven't played Final Fantasy 1, I won't spoil the plot for you, but... For those who have played, yeah, I got past the mini-boss and unlocked the rest of the dungeon. And I haven't gone through it yet because I'm playing the uh, Pixel Collection Edition or whatever it's called. So it's based on the NES version where you have spell slots instead of MP. <laughs> so magic management becomes very important all of a sudden when you're limited to uh, spell slots per spell level. So that makes dungeon crawling a, a bit of an experience. Like, I think I mentioned it already in my vlog earlier, where I'm doing a self-imposed challenge where I'm trying to level grind as little as possible and try to survive, basically. So it actually makes the game require a little more strategy instead of just mash attack to win. It's been really fun. I'm actually really enjoying the self-imposed challenge because it adds some suspense to the game. Like, you'll get into an enemy encounter, and it's like, if you see three scorpions on the screen, you better get the hell out of dodge, because you are not surviving that encounter. <sighs> and, well, that's just uh, one game. I do eventually want to get back to uh, Persona 5 Royal as well, 
uh, after I'd beat Z beaten Xenoblade 2 a while back, I actually mentioned that on the vlog a long time ago. I said Persona 5 Royal would be my main game, and I haven't touched it in like a month, so I'll get back to that eventually. I'm also still working on Xenoblade 3, slowly but surely. I'm taking my time with that game. I'm in no rush to beat it. I do kind of have an inkling of how the game ends based on some things I've seen, but I don't think I actually know. I only have like an idea. So I technically haven't been spoiled. I've been spoiled of some slight details, but that's about it. At any rate, I'm probably going to finish this off here. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and probably meditate before work. So I'll check in with you guys later. It's evening now, though for once it's not one in the morning. It's actually uh, almost 11, so making decent time. I'm not going to stay up forever tonight either. I'm pretty tired, so I'm probably going to go to bed within like the next hour or two. We've just been watching Dragon Ball Z again. <laughs> We're almost at the end of season four, which is crazy. And uh, it doesn't feel like it's that far into the show, but I guess we are. <laughs> We're like 134 episodes in or something. I also played more Final Fantasy 1. I beat the Cave of Earth, so that's one crystal down. And that just means the game's just gonna continue getting harder, especially since I'm doing my, like, limited level grinding run, but honestly, you don't have to grind all that much. Like, just trying to find the next destination. I fought so many enemies that, like, I had enough money to buy three level six spells for both my mages, and, like, that's usually my benchmark for grinding. Like, once I get enough money to buy all the magic I want to get for the mages, I usually move on, because I'm like, okay, they're strong enough to take on whatever the next challenge is. Or I, like, update everyone's equipment. I do have a monk in the party, though, and the monk doesn't really have any equipment, but still. It's been a fun playthrough, and I'm enjoying it so far. I think I am about a fourth of the way through the game, maybe a third. Because I know, like, there's... Uh, there are four more dungeons, or main dungeons, and then there, there are uh, two mini dungeons, I think. But the game itself is... Uh, it's actually kind of long now that I think about it. At least compared to a lot of other NES games. I am uh, about five hours in. So, even while playing quickly, it's still taking a little bit. And then I've also... Oh yeah! I forgot to mention it, but I started drawing again. I'm drawing the cover art for the book I'll be writing, this NaNoWriMo, and that's exciting. I'll probably share it when I finish it. It's going to be a little bit, though. The line work is, uh, in order to make the line work look the way I want it to, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time, so I'll be working on it for at least a couple more days. Like, probably just the line work alone, to be honest, because, uh, the cover has five characters on it, which is the most amount of characters I've drawn in a single, like, picture in a long time. Like, even the other Black Crystal books, the most amount of characters that had ever been on a cover were three. That was about it. I'm looking forward to it, though. It looks okay so far. I'm enjoying drawing the characters again, and it kind of inspires me to try working on the Black Crystal graphic novel series I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of make my books into a comic book series and make it like more accessible that way for people who like maybe just don't have the patience for regular novels because graphic novels are much faster to read through it takes a lot more work and will take significantly longer than writing a novel itself but uh, either way i'm looking forward to it anyway today was a good day and i'm happy to say that and hopefully i'll be able to wake up properly tomorrow so I can actually take a walk. I'm probably going to order more coffee tomorrow because I am just about out. This is my third to last cup of the caramel coffee. I thought I only had two left, but apparently I had three, so I still have enough for a couple more cups. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and like always, I'll see you tomorrow.